Today I will show you the difference between the vector and the layer masks in Photoshop. So let's start. Hey guys, it's Nemanja and welcome to another fun episode. I'm sure that some of you guys actually never heard about the existence of vector masks in Photoshop. And some of you guys are familiar with vector masks, but you are not using them at all. So today I will show you what vector masks are and what is the difference between the regular layer masks and vector masks. So without further ado, let the fun begin. Right guys, today we will start with this photo and before we start, just in case if you're not familiar with the regular layer masks, pixel based mask, go and check out my tutorial about the layer masks, you can find the link right here. Right, now that we covered that, let's go back into Photoshop and let's start by creating a layer mask, clicking on this icon right here. Okay, now we have a layer mask, it's white, everything is revealed and uh, layer masks is pixel based, pixel orientated mask and works with a brush tool because that's a pixel based tool. So we are painting the pixels with the brush tool. So if we click on a brush tool right here with the black brush, we will hide the elements of the layer by painting on the mask and with white, we will reveal those elements back. Okay, that's short introduction of layer masks, but majority of you already know what the layer masks are. Now the vector masks are exactly the same like this. They will hide or reveal part of the image, but they are vector based. So they work uh, with uh, vector based tools like a pen tool or shape tool. So let me show you how to create a vector based mask. Okay, let's first delete this layer mask by right clicking on it and say delete mask. Now let's go and click on the pen tool. And if you're not familiar with the pen tool, go and check my tutorial about the pen tool. You can find the link right here. So I will quickly make a path around this mug. I will fast forward this because it will take a minute or so and I will be back really soon. Right guys, I just created a path around the mug and now I will create my first vector based mask. So there are two ways how to do it. First is to go to layer and then vector mask and you can click on the current path. So that will create the mask out of the path. So if we click here, as you can see, we have another a little bit grayish mask and we have our mug extracted out of the background. So let's undo it by pressing Ctrl Command Z and now I'll show you another way. Another way is just go here and press and hold command or control on Windows and click on the regular mask icon and you will create a vector based mask. So by holding control or command key and clicking on the layer mask icon, you will create a vector based mask. Without control key, you will create a regular layer mask. And of course you can make a combination of, you can create both masks. So if you just press on it, you will have regular layer mask and then you can use a brush tool with the black parts and you can have a combination of both worlds in case you need it. Okay, now I will just undo it uh, until I'm uh, here just with vector base mask. And the cool thing with vector base mask that is that you can edit the path anytime in the process. So for example, if I zoom in here, I can see that some parts here are not so good extracted. So I can go back to the pen tool and I have a pad back. So I can press A on the keyboard just to go to this selection tool and just select some parts that I want to change and I can really easily change this. I can change the path completely, do whatever I want or go back and uh, tweak it until I'm satisfied with it. Of course, you can double click on the mask or go to Windows and Properties to have this property panel and by clicking on the mask, you can change the feather. So you can change the feather of the selection or you can change the density to see where you need to position when you're tweaking this, uh, this path, where you need to move it left and right, up and down, etc. So for example, I want to tweak it like this. Okay, and maybe this one like this. And I think I missed some parts here. So yeah, here. I can tweak this one a little bit and uh, I can move this inside a little bit just 
just for fun. And this is it, guys. This is how the vector base masks are working. Of course, now you can go and copy this just by pressing Control Command C and go to another document, paste it right here, and you have this mag on another document. So here, let me show you. Double click now. Let me show you what the feather is doing to the selection. You can really nicely feather it if you need to feather your selection. Now I will show you how you can really easily turn your vector base mask into a regular layer mask. So that's really, really easy. Just go here, right click, and then say rasterize vector mask. And that's it. You have a regular layer mask. And now you can paint with a brush, with a black or white to reveal or to hide more or less than you need it. You have whole image back, so you can do that. But if you want to turn your uh, layer mask into vector base mask, that's possible too. So let me show you how to do it. Press Ctrl Command and click on the layer mask to load that mask, to load the selection of that mask. Now go to path and click on this icon right here. So you will turn the selection into the path. So now let's go back to layer mask and Ctrl and click, you will create a vector base mask. You can delete layer mask and you will still have your vector base mask with a pen tool or with the pressing a on a keyboard you can always modify anything that you want again with that path so that's another cool thing and now we can make a copy of it move it here maybe rotate it a little bit and we have something we have some eyes we can make some maybe white color we can make some figure here and that's it Woohoo! Right guys, now I will show you how you can use a shape tool, another vector base tool to create some really cool elements by using vector masks in Photoshop. So let's do it. All right, let's change the background. Let's go with this one for another example and let's use a shape tool. You can press U on a keyboard, that's a shortcut, or you can just go here and find a shape tool. And I will use the custom shape tool that you can see right here because then I can use any of those, these custom shapes right here to create my artwork with with this and of course if you're not familiar with the shape tool how to use the shape tool you can go and watch my tutorial about that you can find the link right here all right now let's choose any of those shapes here let's choose a butterfly for example all right and make sure that this option is set to path not shape but the path so now we are set to go so i will just create a butterfly like this and press Ctrl or Command, click on the mask and now I have really nice butterfly shape colorized out of the background. So that's really cool. And of course I can unlink the chain icon between the layer and the mask and really easily move the layer. I cannot move the mask like with the regular masks, but I can move the layer or I can move the shape by going here to uh, vector mask and go to path selection tool now i can select the path and move the path it's similar like we are moving our regular layer mask now we can play with the shape tool however we like we can cut some holes in a butterfly or add some new butterflies on a photo using that same background etc so let me show you that really quickly so now we are still in the shape tool we are having a butterfly and if we want to add a new one we need to press and hold shift to have this plus icon and just add a new butterfly or add a new one here. This is a little bit of the photo, so here. Or another one, bigger one here maybe, etc. Or we can cut out some holes in the current butterfly using pen tool or another shape tool. We can change to maybe this leaf, why not, just for fun. And we now need to press Control, actually Alt or Option key and create a leaf shape. I'm holding space key to move the leaf shape wherever I want. And when I uh, release it, I have a hole in, in the shape of that leaf. Or I can change, maybe I want this, why not? So, something like this, etc. So you can play and create anything that you like out of this artwork. All right, guys, and that's finally it. I don't want to bother you anymore with the vector masks. You now know what they are and how to use them. So it's up to you if you want to use them or not. Right, if you have any questions regarding to this episode, please leave them down in the comment section below. I will be glad to answer them. If you like this episode, if you appreciate the content, press that like button, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. 
Have fun, practice, experiment, and see you in my next fun episode. Bye-bye.